the main part of your sleep process is called the sleep drive. It's the homeostatic drive. And what you notice in the blue line is in the morning at 7 a.m., your sleep drive is low. Your tendency to fall asleep is low. And as you work through the whole day, your sleep drive goes up and up and up. So your brain is trying to make you more and more sleepy. It's pushing down on you to go to sleep the more you're awake. One idea is you're burning all this ATP, whether you're exercising or, or learning here in an environment like this, you're burning ATP and adenosine keeps building up. And when it hits eye level in your body, you start to get tired and it's nighttime, go to sleep. What you'll notice is when you go to sleep, the sleep drive drops down because your adenosine is being pushed back into ATP for tomorrow morning, right? So at, at night, you, don't, you, know, you go to sleep and then you replenish. We have a circadian or wakefulness drive, which is the opposite side. So remember I told you, the homeostatic drive is making you sleepy, but I don't want to be asleep at 11 a.m. You hope my circadian clock pushes back so I stay awake and alert. There's a matching, right? So again, I get more and more tired. My, my brain puts in together chemicals like dopamine, norepinephrine, which we're going to teach you about, to stay awake appropriately. When these two things are in sync, we call this the opponent process model. They're fighting each other. When they are in sync, you are appropriately awake all day and appropriately asleep all night. If they become dyssynchronous, you start again getting into disorders. So the critical points uh, are these junctions, you know, what's your nighttime, what's your morning, and do these two processes work together in sync, then you're okay. So you'll hear us talking about circadian shifts, and that's when they move left or right and they're out of sync. What if your sleep drive is up and you forget to have wake drive? So you're sleepy and you removed arousal, yep, you're going to go to sleep. So when you think about these disorders today, keep this in mind.